Hi, everyone. We're going to find lines tangent and normal to the curve at point zero comma pi. We have x squared times cosine squared of y minus sine of y equals zero. So differentiating this, uh, we're going to use the product rule for the first one and the chain rule. So um, we write down x squared. And now we differentiate our y. So this is going to be uh, times 2 cosine of y times the derivative of uh, cosine. So that's going to be um, negative sine of y. All right. And since we differentiated the y, this is times derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, now plus, let me put the plus here, uh, copy down your cosine squared of y times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Then we have um, the second piece. The derivative of sine is cosine. So that's just going to be cosine of y, um, and it was with respect to y, so that's uh, derivative of y with respect to x equals 0. All right, now we have, um, let's group these two together, and I'm going to move this over to the uh, right-hand side of the equation. So basically, I'm going to factor out dy dx. And if I do that, I get dy dx equals... Um, here, where are we? Here's a negative here. I'm going to pull this uh, negative out. Well, let me just keep it in for now. So negative uh, 2x squared cosine y sine y plus, uh, or this is going to be minus now, minus cosine y. And that's going to equal, and you subtract this. So that's going to be minus, I'm going to move this in front, 2x cosine squared of y. Now, if I pull the negative out, um, we can do that later if you want. Let's go ahead and uh, divide both sides by this. I'm going to pull the negative out. So dy divided by dx equals, copy this down. All right, and then what I'm going to do is factor out this negative. And if I do that, I'm going to get 2x squared cosine y sine y. This is going to turn to plus cosine of y if you factor out the negative. And the reason I want to do that is because these two cancel. So it's going to be a, a positive now, which is nice. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and factor out in the denominator a cosine y. So we're going to have this equals 2x cosine uh, y times cosine y. I've just broke this up into two. I'll show you why. So we have cosine y when you factor it out and you're going to get 2x squared sine y plus 1. The reason I did that is now we even make it easier. Because when we plug in these values here, we want it simplified as possible. So now we're left with just 2x times uh, cosine y divided by all of this. And I'm going to write this on the uh, slide. So again, what we have is derivative of y with respect to x equals uh, 2x cosine y divided by 1 plus 2x squared sine of y. Now I can substitute in my values here and find everything out. So at the slope at 0 comma pi, then you're plugging in your um, x is 0. So what's going to happen is when you plug in 0, you're going to get 0 over something. And we don't really care what the something is. I can go ahead and uh, plug it in. But this is going to be uh, sine of pi is 0, 
So this is zero. It's really going to be uh, zero divided by one. So that's just going to be zero equals your slope. So therefore, at the tangent line, you basically get y minus zero, or y minus pi, sorry, equals zero times x minus zero. This is just zero, so you get y equals pi. All right, and then for the normal, that's just going to be x equals zero because you're just doing the negative reciprocal. All right. Basically, when you have a slope of zero, and this is the the point you're looking at, your y was pi, there it is, and your x is zero, there it is, for the normal. Um, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.